I'm just quiet because there's no one here. There's no one here. No one at all. Ah, I'm all alone. I know that now, now we have to do, we have to do this. It starts. The great divide, Minophilia thoughts uh, keep returning to the fate of the students of Baldesi and something happened to them and we don't know what it is. So we're gonna start the main quest. Our friends, the very isle itself, everyone and everything. All right, they got consumed or something by what we th think might have been Leviathan, but we don't know. We don't know. No, no. It avails us not to speculate. Orion Jure will send word if there are any developments until such time as he does. Oh, I didn't read that. I didn't read that. It, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Disable it. Yeah. Considers the eerie a etheric fluctuations which we had previously attributed to God King Mogul Moog Mog the Twelfth. That king is no more as a uh, that the king is no more as a blessing for which we have you to thank. Yet all is not well in the Twelfth's wood. Our latest readings reveal ongoing etheric disturbance of considerable magnitude. They may even suggest the presence of a primal. Needless to say, the mere possibilities warrant immediate investigation and would have you do everything. Acilia? Oh my god, I forgot that her name is actually Acilia. I do not wish to interrupt, but we have a problem. What is the problem? What is the problem? Band of refugees hailing from Ulda this time are coming to Revenant's Tall Seeking Asylum. Mm, I mean, we did give refugee... We, we get, did give asylum to the other people that came from... We don't... I don't remember where. <laughs> the, the ninja... The ninja ones. Um, it would seem they expect us to afford them the same treatment we gave to the Domans. Domans, yes. Domans, yes. At present, they're in the Seventh Haven... Waiting for a formal response. I see. Mayhap this was to be expected. I shall meet with them at once. Celia, you know full well we haven't the resources to accommodate many more people. Consider what will happen if you do. Word will spread and more will follow. Your opinion is duly noted, but I will hear their suit. Fury, I should be grateful for your presence at this meeting. Woo! Quest accepted. What is my quest? I don't remember what my quest is. Uh, am I am I to be in the meeting? Oh, uh, speak to the refuge. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. My my quest is to speak to the refugees. That's that's my one and only quest. Okay. It was just a little bit weird. It was just a little bit weird. She just started talking about one thing and then did another thing, like you know, it's a little bit weird. <laughs> so how is everyone doing today? Um, actually, it seems my throat is hurting a bit. <laughs> it's funny. Huh. I went outside to get a haircut today. And now I come back home. And my... <laughs> and my throat is hurting. <laughs> I don't want to get sick. I don't want to be sick. It would suck. 
I didn't drink a tea today, so maybe that's why. Maybe I should drink a tea. Uh -huh. Let it sit in the co and get cold, become thinnest tea. Whole check ice. Uh, there you are. I knew it was here. Draggle tailed. Oh my god! Yeah, draggle tailed refugee. Let's see. Tell tell us more about your plea. I apologize for keeping you waiting. My name is Minfilia and I lead the science of the seventh dawn. Twelve be praised. It is you. It is you. It is you. Sorry. <laughs> We are ready and willing to work, same as the Dolmans. Just give us a task and we'll see it done. Pray calm yourselves. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I know not of your situation. Beg your pardon, Atesident. I, I ain't so good with words. We've been living off the scraps of the Ulda for years now, trying to piece together a life to replace the one, uh, the one what God took. They say there's work, but there's not for an honest man. Not as would, wouldn't sully his soul sooner than his palms any road. The flames do what they can for us, of course, but it ain't near enough. And it's only getting worse. When the calamity brought us to our knees, those rich bastards in the city didn't help, help us up. They climbed on our backs. I don't pretend to be clever, but even I can see what's coming. I knew we had to run. The only question was where. And then it came to me. Revenant's toll. I mean, you took them foreigners in, didn't you? So you'd surely do the same for us. Oh, uh, politics. <laughs> I, I fear the situation is rather more complicated. While it is true that we accepted the Doman's petition for aid, that decision was the product of extraordinary circumstances. I sympathize deeply for, with your plight, but pray understand that it is not possible for organization of our means to aid all who have been affected by the calamity. And so it is with great regret that I must deny your request. But, but we've nowhere else to go. You're turning your back on us? Uh, if I might have a word. Oh, ta ta do ta ta do It's not a miss. Ill tidings from Ulda, my lady. Alfinod has... Alfinod has been wounded! Not Alfinod. Not the guy that I care the least about. <laughs> what? How? Is it serious? I cannot say for certain, but I fear it may be. According to the flames, the refugees started a riot. They went wild, apparently, lashing out at any and everyone. Oh boy. That can't be right. Why would they do? What would they? They must have been provoked. The demonstration was meant to be peaceful. Seven hells. Now the blades have an excuse. They'll round us up and kill anyone who resists. Oh no. Is this is this a, cons a thing that follows from the cutscene that we saw at the end of last stream? Oh no. Antecedent. Please, if you want to help us build a new life, at least help us keep the one we've got. I I think that we can help, right? We should be able to help. I mean, I can go and kill everyone. <laughs> Is that whatever anyone needs me to go and kill everyone? My lady. We're not ones to stand idly by and watch innocents suffer. However, until we know more of their circumstances surrounding this riot, I am not certain what aid, if any, we can provide. If the authorities determine that the refugees attacked without provocation, then those responsible will have to answer for their actions. How can you be so blind? Yeah. Oh my god, politics in my video game. Who could have guessed? It's politics in my video game. Who could have guessed? Who could have guessed about politics in my video game? Find Alphanaut and quickly. If he's in danger or worse, I would have you and none other by his side. Okay, I guess we are going to Ulda. 
Pray do not concern yourself with the matter we are dis we were discussing earlier. Ida and Papa Limo will see to it. Okay. Alfina is being treated at the hourglass. Harry theory. Yay, let's go. Let's go to the hourglass. That's a figure I'd like to have. But I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I am so jealous. My brother and his girlfriend and I think a couple of friends are currently in... Um, Disney. So, you know. Jealous. I haven't been to Disney since 2001. Oh my god. It's been 22 years. What the... What the fuck? It's been 22 years. How, how did I get so old? How did I get so old? Oh my god. It feels weird to be here by myself. Oh, boy. Okay. Now that we're here, we're here and we have to go there. Okay. Oh, you know what? I should probably cast Carbuncle. You never know when you might get in a battle. It is, it is so epic music. Howdy, Patrick. Howdy, doodly neighbor, Huli. Oh, heck yeah. How you doing, Patrick? We are apparently... No, it's that way. We are apparently uh, trying to solve a right thing by being with Alfinod. Hey, Alphidad looks pretty healthy right now. I don't know what they were talking about. He looks pretty healthy. <laughs> Come, you must have gathered by now that Tataru is given to exaggeration. As you can see, I am quite well. Hmm. But are you? The question is, what exaggeration did Tataru give? Ulda, on the other hand, is not. This riot was anything but an isolated incident. Hmm. I see. There is a restlessness in the air. Tensions long simmering are at last threatening to boil over. I do love complaining about my health. It is fantastic. I love complaining. No, uh, I understand people complaining about their health. Uh, it's just that some people don't know who to complain to. It's kind of weird like that. Um, I got a haircut, which you cannot see, but my hair is so fluffy and nice. I haven't gotten a haircut uh, for like a year and a half or two years. So it was very much needed. And now I look so pretty. And ah, uh, but I'm a VTuber, so I always look pretty. I always look pretty gorgeous. <laughs> um, and and then and then and, and then I got a haircut, and we had uh, loaded baked potatoes today, which was very yummy. And yeah, and it's a good day. It's a good day. <laughs> It's a good day. I did spend a lot of my time in the afternoon napping, but that's because I woke up very early to go get a haircut Because that was the only time the person that I trust cutting my hair Yeah I always go for short finger length. It makes sleeping so nice um, Mine isn't finger length <laughs> I, uh, I, I, my, mine is a little bit longer than a finger length hair. <laughs> it's just, but it's so nice and, uh, it makes me so happy. I'm like feeling it and it just makes me so happy. So yeah. Mm. But I'll probably, like, the only problem that I have is that uh, when I crochet, I tend to tie my hair 
and I didn't want to tie it because like it literally like they 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 did something to my hair and it looks pretty. Why would why would they want why would I want them to to why would I want a fucking hairband to ruin it? You know you know it it's that it's that is is that situation. Anyway, we apparently have a riot happening, and people are blaming the refugees. Uh, so we don't know what's going on. Let's check it out politics in our video games who could have guessed who could have guessed that there's politics in our video Uldah games is a nation infamous for the great disparity between the wealthy and the poor yeah the that's majority politics of the populace accepts this state of affairs because they believe that every man bears responsibility for his own lot in life <laughs> never had that so i'll trust you <laughs> My aunt and her friends. To ah. Dumb, <laughs> money is the foremost, and some would say the only measure of a man's worth. Small wonder that the wealthiest wield the greatest influence. Interesting. So where do the refugees fit into this social hierarchy? What place is there for those who fled Alamigo and the destruction of the calamity? Plainly, there is none. They have no wealth, no power, and no worth. To the Uldan way of thinking, they may as well not exist. Hmm. Problematic. Problematic, you know? their existence, however, is patently not an option. General Rauban and the Sultana understand this, which is why they ordered the immortal flames to provide the refugees aid and succor. Oh, I get to start the arc. Okay, that, that's good, I guess. Yet, none would dispute that the expenses incurred by this policy grow by the day, with no end in sight. This has prompted more and more Uldans to question their obligation to aid these worthless wanderers. Oh, I was waiting for it to happen. I forgot that I need to click the button. Uh, with more and more refugees have come to present their treatments. Mm, I, I can understand that. Being othered is pretty harsh. The manner of Lord Lodorito's refusal to grant the Dolmen's asylum bespoke a disdain for all refugees. An attitude shared by the rest of the monetarists. And you may be sure they make no effort to conceal their opinions. Mm. It was only a matter of time before the refugees united in protest. Nor is it any surprise that some among them would ultimately resort to violence. Yeah, I can understand that. It's a thing that happens, I that guess. The immortal flames should choose this of all occasions to engage in joint training exercises with the other grand companies. By the time they return, the situation may well have deteriorated beyond mending. Hmm. Uh. None of these matter. I'll give give me the money. Oh, I forgot to eat. Let's eat. Let's eat a quick meal. Hi, Elfinod. Let's investigate the riot, I guess. As I told you before, it was all but inevitable that an incident of this kind would eventually occur, given the rising tensions within the Sultanate. Nevertheless, I have reason to believe that this particular riot may not have begun spontaneously. Have I piqued your curiosity? Yes! I am here for the politics. I mean, for the game. I mean, what am I here for? <laughs> Good. Then you will accompany me to the Hall of Flames. I would hear what General Robon has to say upon the matter. Okay, I guess... I guess we go to the Hall of Flames. Right over there.
This is... Oh, is this an exit? Okay. Oh, perfect. This is an exit. Now we go here. Oh, it's night! We get the soothing music of Ulda. The soothing music of Ulda. Okay, where are you? There you are. Hi, Rabon. We're here to talk to you. Now is not a good time, Private Morpho. My hands are full dealing with refugees. I am here for him the science. Precisely the matter we wish to discuss, General. Back on your feet already? You may credit my swift recovery to your curgents. My memories of the riot are still somewhat muddled. I trust you managed to regain control of the situation? Not entirely. We secured the city soon enough, but not before the unrest had spread it to the surrounding territories. Pockets of resistance remained throughout Fanalan. Oh boy. We have sent what forces we can to spare to root out the last of the belligerents, but the progress is slow. They are damnable, damnably elusive. I can well imagine, given the majority of the refugees leave outside the walls, it stands to reason that they would know the lay of the land. What do I, what I do not understand is how they came to be so well prepared. Before my little in accident, I observed that several of the refugees were armed. Ooh, who were they armed by? And not with a butcher's knife or pitchforks, but with martial weaponry. I need hardly add that such equipment is costly. None can deny that the tension between the Uldans and citizens, uh, Uldan citizenry and the, and the refugee population had increased since the domains were, were turned away. But would, but would that motivate a starving man to purchase arms in lieu of food? I think not. Yeah, that's, that's actually very good. Yeah. And what, uh, what of those who have not even a single guild to spend who could not survive without the aid provided by the immortal flames. Surely they would sooner sell a weapon than bring it to bear against their benefactory. You see, this is the problem with when it comes to refugees. I'm not saying refugees are a problem. That this is the problem. That as soon, if you don't... Refugees are people. And like with every type of group of people, as soon as their discontent is palpable as soon as they get like you know as soon as their conditions uh that they were treated with before are not met they can become aggressive which is why you have to treat them like people if you treat people like people they will be okay ah People, people, treat people like people. Treat people nice, you know? Uh, I know that people are like, oh, you should treat people how you want to be treated. But no, 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 no. You treat people nice. And then they might not even treat you nice. But you treat people nice. That's it. That's all there is. You have to be nice to people. Don't make me come after you. Hmm. Come to the point. Very well. My point, General, is that the powder keg of discontent was not set alight by chance. These events were deliberately set in motion, and yeah. And now order must be restored. That is my first duty. Until it's done, any investigation can wait. Ooh. I do not have time to discuss this. My scouts will be returning soon. So I guess investigation is up to us. The third part, I mean, actually, I'm an immortal flame, so, uh. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll, I'll, oh, my God. My niece got hold of my brother's phone. <laughs> the general is no fool. He keeps his own counsel and with good cause. Were he to claim without necessary proof that these riots were in instigated by outside forces, the monetarists would accuse him of attempting to shirk responsibility. 
After all, he and the Sultana have been the most outspoken proponents of refugee aid. Yeah, regardless, they will face harsh criticisms in the days ahead. Our allies may stumble upon the truth in time, but I have far more faith in your abilities, Fury. Therefore, I propose we conduct our own investigation independent of the authorities. Hi, Otis! Welcome to Lurk! Lurks are welcome! To that end, I would have make I would have you make inquir inquiries in the settlements suspected of harboring belligerent belligerents. Commander Swift will know which they are. He may balk at the request of such in for such information, but I've no doubt that you can persuade him with your silver tongue. I meanwhile shall seek answers in my own way, after which we can regroup and share our findings. Well then, shall we? Sure, let's go. Let's do it. Um. Hi, sir. I need to talk to you, sir. You look as though you have something to say, Private Morpho. Do you? Why you? S <laughs> Why do you ask? Is no simple favor. Were such information to fall into the wrong hands, the lives of countless soldiers would be at risk. Even so, there is wisdom in your words. An able individual, even one with ties to the flames, may better, may be better suited to this task than a regiment. Very well. The brass plates have reported suspicious activity in the vicinity of Lost Hope. It may be related to recent events, but we doubt it. I suggest you begin to, by speaking to the blades post, uh, posted there. Posted there. Posted there. Okay. And now... We go... Where are we? We're here. Okay. We go to Blackbrush Station. Heck yeah. My eyes are... I don't know if this happens to you, but sometimes my eyes are really weird. And when I talk, the vibration of me talking actually messes with my eyes. It's 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 a weird situation. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, so we have to go this way. Hello, talk to me. What brings you here, adventurer? Search for refugees? Well, then you've come to the right place. Ah, you mean those refugees. Oh, no, you won't find them here. Most of the people of, of Lost Hope have come to accept their situation and are content to pass their days in peace and quiet. Are they? Are they? Are they? Outsiders have trouble understanding that, like that merchant who passed through recently. Gregarious fellow, but awfully opinionated. Can't say I was sad to see him go. A friend of the Sultanate, are we? I take it this means someone has read my report. The refugees who left the merchant have yet to return. And I am increasingly concerned that Sazawaka's suspicion were correct. You haven't the fuckiest, the fuckiest... Oh my god, let me drink some water and move on. You haven't the foggiest idea of what I'm talking about, do you? Never mind. Speak with Sazawaka and he'll explain everything. Okay, so. Just go. Just go over here. Just go over here. Why does that read like sacrifice for refugee? I know it's now it now it reads terrified, but for a moment it read sacrifice, and I got worried. Ah, don't hurt me! I'm not one of them. I beg your pardon. You're of the flames, but you're not with the flames. Yeah, it's complicated. I understand, but yeah, I see. If Leofric bid you speak with me, then I take it you've agreed to help. Twelve be praised for that, because we haven't a moment to waste. Everyone knows the flames are on the march. The others have fallen under the fanatic spell, but not I. Promises of revolution and retribution, of holding the ruling class to account, and taking that which is owed. Huh, a child is... It's not a child is fantasy! You just have to do it properly! Anyway. I did everything I could to dissuade the others for, from leaving, but if you would, hear, would heed my words... 
now that one of our dealers has returned, however, the madness of the merchant's plan is plain to s for all to see. Look behind yonder tent and you understand why. Yonder. Oh my god, of course they speak like that. Even now, he babbles incoherently, so traumatized is he by the bloodshed he witnessed. Try as I might, I can make little sense of his words beyond the fact that he was not alone in surviving. Yet, I've no doubt the merchants will lead the reminder of their doom. Be I beg of you, find them f before he does. Okay. So, talk to the sacrificed refugee. No, that's not... It's you. No, no. There we go. What are you doing? Don't, don't draw, don't draw, don't draw, don't draw, don't draw. Why? Why don't you? Why didn't you run away with me? We could have escaped together, and then you'd be here with me, be here to soothe me. Why? Why did you have to stay and leave me alone? <laughs> soothe. Yeah. Pap pap pap. Who, who are you? What do you want? Uh, it's true. I follow the merchant and may God strike me down for my folly. What they will not give, you must stake, he said. When we asked how, he revealed the cache of weapons he had brought and implored us to seize control of our fates. I thought about running then and there, but the others were so excited. He split us into two groups, sent us off on our own. But when the flames found us, we didn't know what to do. Our leader tried to parley with theirs, but then they started arguing and then fighting and everyone was fighting and the flames were shouting to give no quarter and... Oh God, the other group, they're still out there. If we don't stop them, they'll be massacred like mine was. Uh, 110 rings, so okay. The other refugees are hiding in the cave south of Lost Hope, but to approach them would be fruitless. They would soon sooner call us agents of the Sultanate and try to kill us than listen to reason. Why, the twins might even deign to do the deed themselves. A box and a bloody cell sword. They were supposed to train us to fight, but the ones he sent with us vanished during the struggle. Everyone was kung fu fighting? Oh no, it's worse than that. Oh, if only we had never listened to the merchant's ridiculous claims. He said if our cause was, if he said our cause was righteous, that the gods would never suffer us to be defeated. Though if they were forced to confront reality, that's it. Challenge the twins to combat. Show my brethren that their strongest warriors are no match for one woman. Mayhap then they'll agree to lay down their arms and renounce this plot. Okay, where do we go? Right over there. Okay. How are we going? What is our method of transportation? A antelope is our method of transportation. Is it through here? Ooh, for other refugees. Okay, seven hells, they found us. Everyone grab your gear and make for the rendezvous point. So that's your game, is it? <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you last, but we're more willing to kill you yourselves. Uh, I'm under attack, I guess. Uh, I guess I have to kill people. Maybe just maim. Maybe if I just maim people, it'll be fine. I, I don't feel okay hitting people. I don't feel okay with this. Like being, being again, going against these people. It feels terrible. 
Ooh, they ha do you have sportsmen? to die and I don't like it. For other refugees? Okay. So keep going forward. Just keep going forward. Oh. You beat him like it was on the foul almighty. What, were, what are we gonna do now? Speak with the terrified refugee. Okay. Now we have to go back. <coughs> Can I approach through here? I wonder. Oh, I can. Interesting. Uh, what of the twins? What happened? I see. Well, you had no choice. Better than a handful of them take a, bru a beating from you than the lot get butchered by the flames. Yeah. Tell me, what did the merchant have to say when it was over? The merchant wasn't there. But where else would he be unless... Unless he went to Stone's Throw to recruit others? Oh no, did he go to other places? Did he go to other places? I wonder. The merchant wished to approach the refugees in Stone's Throw, but was waiting until the flames withdrew their forces from the vicinity. Now that they have, there's nothing to stop him from continuing his work. How many more must perish in pursuit of this futile cause? How much more suffering must we endure before it ends? I don't know. Find him. Convince him to seize his mad quest. It will surely lead us to ruin. Okay. So where do we go? Where do we go? I don't see it. Oh, uh, right there. Okay. We're scuttling! Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle! We can scuttle through the caves. Everything is fine, right? Everything is fine. I see a person that needs talking to. Have have you seen Oh no no They told me to stay here with the others. They said they'd be back soon, but it's been days, oh no. They left with that man from Ulda. The man said they were gonna change everything, make it so we can leave inside the walls with everyone else. I liked it when he said that, oh no. I didn't like it when he talked about making rich people pay. Everyone looked so angry and I got scared. Oh no! Oh. Feelings! Say miss, are you looking for someone? Uh, I'm looking for someone stirring up trouble. Because Tiny Chuck makes cry. You mean the man who left with my parents? But I don't know where he... Oh boy, I see. Wait, look over there. Over there. I think that's him. 
Well, now, which of this gullible fool shall be my next victim? Oh, my God. Yeah, sure, go after me. I dare you. You, I, I... He's getting away. Go get him, miss! Let's go! Let's go kill a bitch. <laughs> we shall murder you in cold blood. You again? Why? Why are you pursuing me? Hey, you... Sedition? Treason? Revolution? That's... That's preposterous! Who has filled your head with these lies? Refugees? The same... Self-same refugees who's terrorized the streets of Ulda? Ha! Huh. You have no evidence to prove your accusations. None! No, I will not accompany you to the Hall of Flames. You have no right to detain me. Try me, bitch. <laughs> For the sake of argument, let's say I did do things, the things you claim. Surely you don't think I give a, a Kikirin's arse about politics. It was business. Only business. Hmm. What lies are you trying to tell me? Oh. Hello there. We both know I am not the one you want. However, if you agree to protect me, I swear I shall tell you everything. You're about to get killed. You're about to get killed. There we go. Arrow to the chest. Use your binoculars! What's all this commotion? Seven hells. Tell the others to spread out and search the area. The killer may still be close. I'm glad that they don't think I'm the killer. Because uh, that would be weird. Hi, Ben. How you doing? So that happened. Yeah, that happened! <laughs> There's the killer on the loose. <laughs> he got killed by someone. Yep. Someone killed him. I'm glad it's not yep. me. Maybe. I wanted to kill someone, but I've never killed anyone. <laughs> How you doing, Ben? Doing all right. I'm glad. It was an arrow that was on the loose. It was a loose arrow. Okay. <laughs> but but the arrow stopped. And it's not on the loose. But but they're saying that it is on the loose. You gotta help me out here. It's very confusing. <sighs> I wanna know more about your relationship with the victim as well as the events leading to his death. Well, you see, he was evil. But he was being paid to be evil. And then he was going to tell me what was happening. And then an arrow got loose from a quiver from, for, you know, like just a random arrow. And uh, he died. That's what happened. This man was responsible for the reason riots may happily owe his murder a debt of gratitude. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Why? Why do people? That's my question. Ben, why do people... Yup. Why do people? In yep. any case, it's obvious you're not the one whom we seek. Good! You may carry on your investigation. Good. Okay, now where do I go? Return to the Hall of Flames. Okay. <sighs> oh no! I have like... Five message voice messages from my family. Oh. Uh, they're probably all 
all set by my knees, so it doesn't really matter, but it's it's the it's the kick of I really wanna hear them because I really wanna hear my knees. Can I jump up here and then jump up here and Oh heck yeah! <laughs> shortcut. I got a shortcut. So he got killed. Murdered. Yeah, murdered. It was not a simply murdered prior. He was silenced. Yep. Yep. Two men knew his face and he was ready to divulge his secrets. Do not despair though. We may be closer to identifying the true orchestrator of these riots. Heck yeah. Uh, 110, 110, 110. So nope. None of that is worth it. I'm gonna be honest. I just look at the clock and you know how it says the time and then underneath it says the date yeah. i read 10 and i'm like how is it 10 already <laughs> <laughs> uh the revolution the flame general left a word that you were to proceed to the flagrant uh, fragrant chamber as soon as you return he wishes to discuss the recent discoveries as well as the results of our own investigation. Heck yeah. Master Alfinot has already been informed and should be waiting for you outside. Pray proceed to the royal promenade with all haste and speak with B Bartholomew. Okay, we have to go speak with Bartholomew. And we have to go to the chamber of rule. Okay. There's so many people here waiting on something. I wonder what they're waiting for. Hello, Bartholomew. I'm here to talk to you. No, don't want to talk to my koala. Yeah. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Give me the money. Commander Swift has kept us apprised of your recent activities. You've made oh, sorry. <laughs> Despite our best efforts to determine nice. what provoked this uprising, the truth continues to elude us. Have you uncovered aught which might shed some light on the mystery? I always hate, like, skipping dialogue that's actually spoken. This information does not leave this room. Oh. Secret the information. To reject the Doman refugees appeal for asylum lasting repercussions a number of those displaced by the calamity claimed it was proof of a policy of discrimination interesting together with a group of all Amigan refugees they organized a series of demonstrations to protest against the sultanate yeah but that doesn't mean that they were the ones with the weapons demonstrations which became heated but did not descend into violence until a certain incident served as a call to arms. Hmm. A unit of brass blades sent to supervise a demonstration loosed arrows upon unarmed protesters. It was this atrocity which prompted the refugees to take up arms. I need not tell you what followed. Interesting. We assumed at first that the attack was born of a miscommunication. When emotions run high, they happen. But suspicions were raised regarding the unit's commanding officer, whom I ordered interrogated. Was he killed? Sure enough. Our fears were soon okay. confirmed. The dog confessed that a merchant had offered him coin to give the order. A merchant in the employ of Taleji Adeleji. Is that the is this the one the, the, the one that went against the the refugees? 
Or am I just... No. Or, it was or, with refugees. With refugees, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I have to think about it too. Teleji Adeleji. Yes, that's exactly my face, Alfinod. What the fuck? But he spoke in favor of the Doman's cause. And has ever there you go. See, he he he, he answered your question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> know you of the Cartano Reclamation Bill? Uh, okay. It is a proposal to annex the Cartano Flats so that refugees may establish permanent settlements. When last I looked, that was disputed territory. Aye. Some might even call it a battlefield. So what I was saying last patch is true. He was going to instigate something. <laughs> the destruction wrought by Bahamut was greatest at the Cartano Flats. That much is common knowledge. Uh-huh. Tell me more, Robon. What is less well known is that his rampage laid bare ancient Alagon ruins, of which no record existed. Oh boy. There are certain differences of opinion as to how these ruins should be handled, which is why each nation maintains a military presence in the region to this day. Okay. They don't want it to be we may, so close we to reality. Therefore, interest of preserving the Aeorzean alliance, we have reached an agreement. Any conflict which may arise during the course of military exercises in the region shall have no bearing on relations between our nations. Uh -huh. In full knowledge of this delicate state of affairs, Teleji Adeleji proposed the Cartano Reclamation Bill. What the f fuck is wrong with this dude? A shameless bloody ruse which stands to benefit him in but one conceivable way. If successful, he will gain control over the disputed territory under the guise of assisting in the resettlement effort. And you can be sure he'll build an orphanage next to every Alagon ruin. the unity of the Aeorzean Alliance and risk countless lives for personal gain. He walks a path all his own, independent of any faction and beholden to none of his fellows on the Syndicate. I have feeling against oh, him. The less ah. fortunate to violence, he hopes to convince others that the Cartano Reclamation Bill is the only viable solution. His sympathy for the plight of the Domins was not but posturing to gain credibility with the refugees. Of that there can be no doubt. I'll kill him. Forgive me, but what could possibly motivate Teleji Adeleji to go to such lengths? What is so special about these ruins that he would risk his position on the Syndicate? And, most likely, charges of treason against the Sultanate? Omega. No. Omega? Pardon? No. Oh, yes. Oligon monstrosity, not unlike the Ultima weapon, mayhap larger, we know not. It has yet to be fully excavated. Oligon inscriptions indicate that it was created to fell Bahamut himself. If accurate, it might explain why Nail Van Darnus chose to bring the Red Moon down upon the Cartano Flats. Given the ends he went to to ensure Eorzea's annihilation, destroying the one weapon which could stay the Elder Primal may well have seemed like good sense. When first I bore witness to the power of the Ultima weapon, I doubted the evidence of my senses. And now you tell me there is another such weapon? One which could contend with Bahamut. Bahamut. What the fuck, Final Fantasy? We were skeptical ourselves. 
truth be told, until the Ultima Weapon's existence came to light. We thought the inscription had been mistranslated. At present, Omega is more akin to a fossil than a tool of war, having long since ceased to function. As such, its true potential cannot accurately be gauged. However, if someone were to restore it, as the Carleans did the Ultima Weapon, I have little doubt that he would wield untold power. Power enough to subjugate Uldar like as not, and the rest of Eorzea besides. Which is doubtless why Telegi Adelegi yearns to have it. Wow. Power like no and other. He should aspire to world domination. He who has ever walked two paces behind Lord Lolorito in matters of commerce. Tis in acknowledgement of his own limitations that he seeks this power. Woe betide us all should we allow him to have it. Pray waste no time chasing rats. Only a fool would believe that secrets can be kept in Ulda. That's very wise, actually. It would seem the implications of the Sultanate's refugee problem are rather more far reaching than we assumed. What, what, what were those noises? Did I level up in the middle of the cutscene? I, I, I don't know. No, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying some, some bards playing Green Day. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, Alfie, not talk to me. I should be glad to know the truth, and yet the thought that all this chaos was a product of one man lust for power sickens me. I mean, it's always that, isn't it? <laughs> it's always yep. a lust for power. How long do you think they intend to hide the existence of Omega from the science? That they even felt the need to do so is most troubling. It would be in our best interest to learn more of the military activities in the disputed territories. You are, of course, the science best suited for this task because you are the only one! Do take a moment to visit the Hall of Flames and make inquiries at the earliest available opportunity. Okay. Oh, be gone. Well, this is no place for children. Oh no, don't, no, don't treat her like that. No. I was looking for you, miss. You said you were looking for the man who left with my parents. Yeah, I have bad news for you. You know this girl? She's the one that told me about the merchant. So he visited Stone's Throw as well. I see. Did you find the man? Were my parents with you? Nope. They were not, I'm afraid. However, I can think of several places they might be. If you like, we can go and look for them together. Really? You'll help me look, mister? I have a bad feeling about her. Of course, but first I must needs finish speaking with my friend. She's telling me a secret. You see? So no one else is allowed to listen. Mayhap you could wait for me hit by that pillar over there. We require about a moment. I have a bad feeling about everyone in this game. A legion of Garleans and Aether Star Primal and even dealing with an Ossian would it be preferable to the charade. <laughs> Uh, since this afternoon Philly is too ambitious, we rush hither and yon in response to threats as they arise without concern for the strain it places on our limited resources and ourselves. Mayhap the time has come for a change. Oh boy. I know this is sudden, but I must ask you to return to Revenant's Tull with all due haste. The situation in Tull's Wood has taken a turn for the worse. I'll explain in detail. Hey, it's not a return to Waking Sands. So the prayer returned to Waking Sands. Then the primal threat she spoke of before has been confirmed. I have received no reports of Ixali activity, which leaves the sylphs. Oh no. Oh no, not the sylphs again. You know, as well as I, that the presence of primal takes precedence over all else. 
Uh, and when you arrived, do inform the antecedent that while I am grateful for her concern, she need and fear for my safety. I'm more than capable of protecting myself. Pray return to the Rising Stones. Heck yeah. Hi, Trent. I guess it's time we... Wait, what happened? What? What happened? Oh, there we go. Okay. Time to eat food. And another food. And... We... Go to Mordo. can't believe they plot they plotted the whole well i don't know how much they plotted about the not having an etherite in waking sands but <sighs> can't believe they did that that what the fuck is that mount what is this yeah i love it <laughs> I want all the mounts. I, I think it's the level 70 Stormblood set. Mm. It is a relief to see you healthy and hale. Fear the latest nerf was most disturbing. Yep. And you have no idea how disturbing they are. The only injury Elfinod suffered was his ego. <laughs> the other science will need to be present for this meeting. If you're ready to begin, I'll summon them now. Yeah. What do we want? Uh, that is all one time. So let's get the money. Stuff is happening in the Black Shroud. Thank you for responding for my to my call with such haste. Finally got my rank 20 island sanctuary mount. Which mount is that? You'll have to show it off. Rest assured, I should not have summoned you were it not urgent. To business, then I have received some disturbing news from the Order of the Twin Adder. They have reason to believe that the Sylphs have, may have called forth their revered guardian, the primal Ramu. Not Ramu. Again, with Ramu. May have, then it's not certain. Yeah, seems that way. The Elder the elder Sid Seer inform us that the Elementals themselves murmur of the Lord of Levin's return to the forest. The Sylph lands, however, display no signs of undue commotion. Forgive me, antecedent, but that fact need not contradict the elemental's testimony. Unlike his more bellicose compeers, Grada and so on, Ramu is reputed to act only in the defense of his children. I imagine he would soon make his presence known if any were foolish enough to directly endanger the sylphs or their territory. The abruptness of this development concerns me. Were we not keeping a close watch on the touched ones and their movements? If preparations for a summoning ritual were indeed underway, it would surely would not have escaped your notice. Oh, it didn't. I was pretty sure it was going to happen, just not this soon. That... What? <laughs> you foresaw... Yeah, exactly! What the fuck? I told Papa Limo I suppose I could have reported things to Minfilia earlier, but there honestly wasn't much we could do except wait and see. And you know how the, sil the sylphs feel about people poking around in their territory. They already uh, summoned Ramu once after, right after the Calamity, but that was because the Garleans came tramping through their forest. And so long as the Castrumorians stands, the sylphs cannot be blamed for wishing to have their guardian deity on hand. In short, Ida and I are in agreement. The actions of the forest folk were inevitable and unavoidable. And I maintain that observation would have remained the best policy had it not been 
for the sudden influx of strangers into the Black Shroud. That, alas, we did not foresee. Ooh, strangers. By all accounts, the recent violence in Ulda drove a number of refugees to seek safety under the concealing canopy of the trees. Ah, uh, I can see that. Yeah. He's like the sylphs it perceived this panicked migration as yet another invasion and quickened their efforts to summon their god. I am put in mind of Titan and the kobolds. Once again, it is the affairs of men which have paved the, word, the way for primals coming. Yep. Indeed. One cannot help but wonder what manner of place Eorzea would be without the civilizing influence of mankind. Be that as it may, this regrettable development does afford us a unique opportunity. Fury, through your dealings with the Sylves of Little Solace, you once succeeded in preventing an ultimate, an ultimately conflict, untimely conflict with Gridania. I wonder, might one who has treated, who who has treated with the Sylves so fruitfully in the past, not achieve similar success with their patron deity? If Ramu can be convinced of our intentions. It may be the first step to breaking the cycle of primal summoning. A fond hope. Were such a thing possible, we would not have been at war with the beastmen since the time immemorial. But Ramu is different, seems that way. But maybe this time we can... Let us continue the discussion and on. We must need uh, first consult with the nations most affected by Ramu's presence. The Elder Sid Seer has requested your personal involvement. Pray report to Commander Hulwa at Adder's Nest as soon as you're able. Okay, I guess. Seal yourself for the worst. Well, I hope for a peaceful resolution to this matter. Experience suggests that your meeting with Lord of Levin will prove less than amicable. In such an event, your fellow science will, of course, lend you whatever support you require. My fellow science will battle with me. Not really. They will not. They will not battle with me. They will be away doing their research. from the music just in case. Thought that was Skywalker, but Skywatcher. <laughs> Hello. No, there we go. Uh, your arrival has been most anticipated. The appearance of primals ever cause for alarm and an ease. Though many, my men stand ready for any eventuality, I know none of none more qualified than you to snuff out this threat. Indeed, I would have you do so without delay. The Elder Seeds here, however, would speak with you first. She is of the opinion that your diplomatic rather than martial skills may better serve our cause. I will leave further explanation to our le learned leader. Pray make your way to Nofika's altar. The conjurer in attendance will admit you to the Lotus Stand. Okay. Time to go to Old Gridania, I guess. Where does this entrance lead me in the old Gritania map? Oh, very close. Nice. Like, right there. That's nice. Yeah. So everyone's here. Scions of the Seventh Dawn, on behalf of the people of Gridania, I bid you welcome. Your presence is of great comfort to us all in these days of uncertainty. Hmm. I 
I summoned you here to share tidings of a most urgent nature. But a short while ago, a great elemental spoke, and his voice was clarion in its intensity. Ramu is returned unto the forest. And you're sure a summoner can't capture him and to echo in mine ears train him? When we were visited by an emissary from Little Solace. Hi, friend. Our guest informs us that the Sylphs, too, have sensed the presence of the Lord of Levin. Though his exact whereabouts remain unknown, we may safely assume that the Primal was summoned within the heart of the Sylphlands. Unlike the other Primals you have encountered, Lord Ramu is no raging avatar of destruction. He is revered as much for his wisdom as his strength, mm. serving as both arbiter and guardian to his children. Given that we and the Sylphs found a way to share the Twelveswood, it is my hope that this sagely immortal will be amenable to reason, and that conflict may be avoided. Blessed as you are with the power of the Echo, you are one of the few among us who may commune with a primal without fear of influence. I would ask, therefore, that you represent us in this most delicate of negotiations. Hi, Trent. Hello. The Twelves Wood has suffered enough. Upon this, we and the Sylphs, and I would venture Lord Ramu himself, are in perfect accord. Let us not endanger our shared home by engaging in unnecessary hostilities. Dear friend, I beseech you, safeguard the peace which exists between our peoples. I love that they don't have the sylph talking. <laughs> make for little solace then a member of the order of the twin adder awaits you there he will advise you on how to find the lord of levin an ill wind blows through the forest and i am the only one able to fix it yet it is not only the twelves wood that flinches at its coming all the lands of Eorzea shiver in dread anticipation have care. Something bad is going to happen. Oh no. Can you imagine something bad happening in a world where bad things happen all the time? Or am I thinking too much? You'll find out soon. Okay. Still to expect you. I understand you go to you go to treat with the primal Ramu himself on an enviable task, but one for which I have no doubt you're well suited. Yeah, I have been told that your fellow scions are conducting an investigation of the area. So speak that we might ascertain the location where the Lord of Levin uh, might be found. I would ask that you abide abide here until they return with their findings. Okay, then I guess. So do nothing for a second. Okay, it's been a second. I was told that a messenger would be sent as soon as your fellow science finished their investigations. I do not imagine it will be much longer. Oh, hi! 
This one returns, and returns with good tidings. Wise ones have finished searching, and have wisely identified the precise location where the Touch One summoned Lord Ramu. Your timing is impeccable, my fluttery friend. Might you be so kind as to escort this, escort this good wom uh, woman to her fellow science? It would be this one's pleasure, walking one. Please, please come with this one. I did not expect to talk like a sylph today. can to the area that they need me to go to. Oh boy. What the fuck? This is cool. This mushroom lamp things are cool. Anyway. Back to the land. Wise ones have ventured deep, deep within the sylph lands. This one must proceed carefully and keep an eye out for touched ones. Okay. Oh god, there's gonna be so much stuck to MGP trade. Oh jeez. I don't know what that means. Uh, oh. It's not unique. Um, the Fall Guys collab is coming mm, mm -hmm. first. The first, and you can get some exclusive stuff from it. Oh. Yeah. Like a minion amount, two minions amount. You can treat yourself as a Fall Guys bean. Oh no. <laughs> uh, but this one can go no further. Draw too close to Lord Ramu, and this one may uh, turn mean and nasty like the touch ones. And so this one must say farewell for now. Walking one will find wise ones not far from here to the south. Go. In safety walking one. Okay. I'm just gonna run away from everything. Oh, here they are. So I guess... Why... No, why, why are you attacking me? Why are you attacking me? You shouldn't attack me. There we go. So it's actually you. I'm relieved for a moment. I thought you were dealing with another one of those confounded silk tricksters. Yeah, no, but it was a... It, it, it was an, another thing that started attacking me. Don't worry. I swear that with them wrecking havoc with their skin-changing magics, it's a wonder I was able to finish taking my measurements. Yes, it was quite the ordeal. You should have seen the look on Ishtola's face when the one impersonating you suddenly showed up. Oh, there was someone impersonating me. Nice. That is quite enough, Papalimo. <laughs> My apologies. It's not like me to ramble, so. At any rate, as I was saying, I have finished measuring the etheric activity in the area. And I'm pleased to say I have reached an indisputable conclusion to wit that R Ramu was called forth in the vicinity of the Sylph's Aetherite. Come, Fury. The Lord Lovin awaits. Hey, does this mean that I, I get to make a group of friends? I get to make a group of friends? Why did it stop? There we go. No, I'm just running away from you. There we go. Good bean. Gotta say, I'm actually enjoying this game. Like, the patches are a little bit slow, but... It's fun.
Hello, Ramu. Thy Nora betrays thee, sir. Children of the forest, thou tramplest upon sacred soil, bringer of light. By what right doth man intrude in this sanctuary of the sylphs? He's so cool. The Gridanians proffer peace. Their words are born of delusion, thine offer and insult. No, 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 hear me out, hear me out. I promise. It's 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 not it I promise. Thou speakest hard. Yet carest not for my children's desires. They did but wish to dwell beneath the thousand solitude. Yet even that was too much to ask of man. Well, you see, they were refugees, not not uh Thus did they turn to me for succor. The sentence I pronounce upon thy kind is just. Oh, uh, we have to go kill him? Or Galleon, it matters not. The good intent of one excuseth not the misdeeds of the other. His beard is a mighty beard. Thy conflict have brought naught but anguish and misery unto the forest. All blame doth lie with the darkness that resideth in the breast of man. <sighs> Whence sprung this calamitous seed? In the beginning no such duality existed. Were light and dark given form when man was born? It would explain much. Not least why strife and sorrow follow ever in thy wake. Thou canst not deny the urgings of thine own nature. Who's this Knowing voice actor? That thy mere presence here portendeth tragedy. Wilt thou persist in this pretense of peacemaking? He's really cool. Thou bearest the crystal which I bestowed upon my wayward charges. That they should entrust so precious a gift to thee. Thou standest apart from thy kin. Thou art the bringer of light. I. There is something more in thee. Very well. I shall consider thy proposal. Shouldst thou survive my trial? Uh, okay, I guess. <laughs> thou wouldst champion the cause of harmony. I must have proof that thou art fit to play the role. Weather mine ire, and prove to me thereby that thou hast strength enough to stay the darkness which threateneth to consume thee. Yet if thou shouldst be found wanting, Know that all men shall perish in the storm of my judgment. Hey, uh, that might be a little bit blinding, and Come I don't like to it. Me, <laughs> bringer of light, I shall await thee on the field of battle. He's so cool. <laughs> Uriange, it is rare indeed to find you so far from a tome. The Lord of Levin himself. Never till this day had I looked upon his visage, save in painted renderings made faint by time. 
Ever shall this scene remain etched in my mind's eye. <clears throat> Beg pardon, my lady. I must beg thine aid on a point of research. If thou art resolved to face Lord Ramu, I would ask thy leave to observe the event. Hmm. So cool! Ramu's so cool, guys! Why is Ramu so cool? Ah, that would explain it. Say so that when you actually get shocked and seduced. I guess so. I guess, I guess that makes sense. Invite to party. Invite to party. We are three people! Uh. Okay. Uh, retrieve. Or not. No, no one else is online. Yay! Let's go. It's the three of us! It's just the three of us. <laughs> oh, and the music is so good! The music here is so good, but I can't have so good. Now we just wait. Oh, uh, Ramu. Yes! <laughs> I'll see if I can randomly queue in. Oh, okay. Uh, do we unqueue and then add people? How, how do we do this? Uh, uh unqueue. Yeah, unqueue. Uh, do you find, uh, withdraw? Okay. And now, friend list. It says you're offline. It says you're offline. <laughs> you're actually on your alt. Oh, uh, just finished the uh, finished up the dishes. Nice. Just in time. <laughs> None of those. That's probably why. Yeah. Um, if you are near. I can I can invite you to join the team. But Patrick is also not online because he's at his alt. Why do these things beat over here? Oh, class and job, okay. How are you doing today, Trent? I am chilling for the moment and then I got work. Mm. Work sounds annoying, but money sounds good. Yeah. Fun fact, you can uh, jump on the back of this. Ooh! No, that's not what it is. Cool. Cool. Is this you? This is you! Invite to party! We formed the party of light! 
Now we're just missing um, Patrick. <laughs> you guys were behind me. Oh no! <laughs> People are so polite saying hi to each other. Oh, I'm trying to see this crocodile whale thing. <laughs> oh, is that the, the mount that you just got? Oh, no. The, it's actually unimpressive. Oh. It's the. Uh, it's the track the bike. Oh. <laughs> I like it though. It's interesting. Is this you? <laughs> Patrick, is this you? For a moment, I thought a goo goo actually had spawned in here. <laughs> Let's go, Fire Ramu. Wait, why the fuck am I being attacked? Who? What? Why? Why are you guys attacking them? Oh my god, that sound clip is so cute! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the voices are so cute! Lala voice 4 is great, I don't remember which voice I got and I don't know how to make a voice. Pretty much the only reason I have this character. Mm. I'm pretty. I'm just pretty quiet. I, I am the quiet type, you know. <laughs> Damn, Trent. Uh this one. Yay! So cute. <laughs> We're just sitting here waiting for things to happen. And the logo. I like because I'm using the play dead emote. I get up to use. <laughs> I get up to use the uh, thing and then just die. <laughs> Hi, Frankie. We will hydrate. Well, at least I will hydrate. We're just sitting here, waiting for things to happen. So how are you today, Frankie? How are you guys? As I mentioned earlier, I got a haircut. Feels like I have two pounds less on my head. Feels nice. Yeah, it's a haircut. You cannot see it because I'm a VTuber, but in real life. <laughs> Just got home from work. Uh... <laughs> I half wish I had work a job, but also like I don't wanna I don't wanna deal with people. <laughs> uh oh the Five Nights at Freddy movie comes out tomorrow or something? I 
I'm not a huge fan of the of Five Nights at Freddy's, so I don't know. Less than five minutes. <laughs> so what is your job, friend? Oh, uh, I work at a service station. No, not Petrol that! Station, whatever. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, this job. Yeah, that job. In Final Fantasy. Uh, Gunbroker. Hmm. Wasn't trying to get real life information from you. It's a tank that was introduced in Shadowbringers. Hmm. Oh, that starbird is so cute! Ruby light weapon. Nice. Ah! God. Uh. Hey, hey, Ben. Not here. here? <laughs> oh, I might be yeah. muted. Yeah, what's up? Uh, sh can I show her my rarest minion? Link it. Um. What do you think? Oh god. It'll be fine. Find that but what Oh my god, that looks so cool. That looks so it's, uh, cool, what the heck? It's from Final Fantasy IV. Ah, okay. That explains it. Still need to play this game. Oh! We're ready! Let's go! And hopefully I don't crash. <laughs> the ambience. <laughs> Great. I love it. <laughs> uh, word of warning, do not come near me. Okay. He hits very hard. Mm. Oh, 
Oh no, why why am I being targeted? I don't know what happened to me. It was a lot of before I was able to to see what happened. So, chaotic strike gives you seduce, which stuns you. Ah. So people need to use their AOE lightning ring to un to unseduce. Oh, okay. We need to do or take things in normal. By sentence, by the radiance of something. Be silent. Oh boy. That was quite bright, Ramu. Do you not think of the people that might have problems playing the game? to someone. Five Alagon tokens. Interesting. Okay. I have taken thy measure, bringer of light. I judge thee a worthy champion. The task of excising the sin that hath taken root in man's heart is thine. Of course it is mine. Shrink not from employing thy strength in service to the forest and the wider realm beyond. Like hungering shadows do the enemies of harmony gather, and meekness will but feed them. It's a very good voice, Patrick. I love it. <laughs> If man is to be delivered from the dark, it shall be by thy guiding light alone. Stray not from the path, for if thou dost, thy people shall be truly lost.
Thou hast slain the Lord of Levin. A regrettable act, but a necessary one. Yep. Have a bad feeling about everyone now. Have a bad feeling about everyone. Who should I trust? My struggle, the truth hath been revealed unto me. If I mistake not, it may yet prove a chink in the eternal armor of the Asians. But let us conclude our present business. I shall expound upon my findings at the Rising Stones anon. I really love the, the symbol of lightning and everything that this area has. It's so cool. Uh, okay, now I have to go to Little Solace. From here. All the way over there. Oh, oh, uh, it was 35 degrees like two days ago. And now? 14. What? Yeah. What the fuck? Hope you don't so, get sick from all the weather changes. I'm probably going to be told to, be, to uh, shut up by the Canadian, but I'm cold. No, oh, I understand. Stop paying attention. Be warned. <laughs> oh, there you are. Mm. Uh, let's see the temperature. Today has been chilly for me. And the temperature is... Wanna guess? 21. Mm -hmm. But I know that some parts of Canada already got their first snow, so... What little gods are made of. Interesting. Hey, I wish, we'll wish to hear you freehand. Uh, pray return to Gritania. Fine, I guess I'll return to Gritania. God, I forgot how many quests there still are. Yeah. <laughs> Who voices Ramu in... 14. Neil Kaplan. Who is credited as Bob Johnson, Jesus Christ. I like his voice. Search I'll search his his voice in a bit. But the fact that people said that they're surprised that Ramu was voiced, it means that he's he doesn't come back. And that's sad. Like Ben said, ARR still figuring stuff out. Yep. I guess so. I have a question. In which, uh, I guess, patch? For, where does um, Havensward start? Havensward? Uh, That's the next one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, three off. So, three, oh, okay, yeah, 3 we have a long way to go. So, uh, yeah, the, the last quest before Havensward is before the dawn. Hmm. Right after 2.5? Oh, okay, so it's not 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, okay. Nope. So, so we're not, we uh, don't yeah. have that long a way to go. <laughs> yeah. So Final Fantasies, they do point patches up to 0.5. Mm. And then 
then it's the expansion, the next expansion. Oh, okay, okay. Good. You are returned the, to the us, weirdest... friend. Okay, there's like point five eight. It's like the weirdest one I've ever seen. Most point five eight? What? I am informed that your efforts to negotiate a peace. Yeah, hey. R five is a usually a minor patch. Mm. Ray, tell me and then what befell. after that, after the minor patches, then because the point five patches come in two sets and come in two parts, part one mm. and a part two. Mm-hmm. So the first part will come out, a minor patch, and then the second part. Oh, okay. Yeah. I hate how long it takes for them to unrestrict Savage. Ravnum it's really you. dumb. I fear there is truth to his claim. It is the darkness within us that attracts the darkness without. What the fuck is with the random noises? Uh, you're getting tells. What does that mean? You're getting DMs in the game. For evidence, mm. one need only look to the conflict brewing in Cartonel. Somebody trying to or recruit to me? Uh. Refugees. Our shared struggle against the Empire should have served to seal our union. Yet the ties which bind the Alliance strain under the weight of gross self-interest. As the scars of the calamity begin to fade, so too does our sense of common purpose. Yet oh, now yeah. is scarce the time to forget our shared responsibility. I don't know exactly what I'm talking about. I still don't trust him. Survive beyond its infancy. It must <laughs> needs be nurtured by all. Trusting people is very hard in video games, it seems. Eorzea must be as one. Yet I fear that dream is still far off. On behalf of the people of Gridania, and the Elementals both, I thank you for all that you and your fellow Scions have done. They did nothing! Full oft have I been compelled to look to you for aid of late. And offered all too little in return. As leader of this nation, I shall endeavor to prove a more worthy ally to your cause henceforth. Curious to see how the revolutions actually attach to the main story. Lord Ramu has departed, yet the keening of this ill wind grows no less insistent. Voices of the forest, pray speak and I shall listen. What unseen evil begets this unease in my heart? Hi, Papa Limo. That sends another daunting mission. I hope. I'd hope Lord Ramu could be persuaded with words, but nonetheless, can only admire that the adroitness? What the fuck? Righteousness, I'm guessing. Uh, with which you responded to the primal sudden challenge. I'm gonna look for that word. Because droit is obviously right. Cleverness, skill. Oh. Fuck off. Fuck off with your words. And it seems like Are you're you speaking in... to Uri. No, uh. Papa Limo. Uri, I would have understood. It was Papa Limo. Yeah, it seems that the Ranger too was pleased with the outcome. What say you, Fury? Shall we gather back to the Rising Stones and ponder the lesson of the day? Gather back to the Rising Stones. Um, I do remember uh, talking to Hector. And he said that we should do the raid before 2.5? I don't know if that means that today's a good time to do the raid. Or if we should wait until tomorrow and then do the raid and then 2.5. I don't know. It's up to you. I don't know what the raids are, so how 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 will I how will I know what makes sense? 
I just mean uh, like, I just mean like in terms of time, because like doing the raid will take at least a stream and a half, depending on how fast you do the cutscenes. Oh, okay. Uh, give me a second. I just, I'm looking at this chocobo with a winter outfit. Excuse me. Yeah, you can. You can dress up your chocobo. Yep. It's what? in that companion tab with the chocobo stuff. Uh, companion. No, that's not it. It's this one. Companion. Appearance. Okay. Oh, but I only have the, the old on stuff. Oh no. I think this is going to be appropriate considering what we just did. Um, I have to find it in the list. <laughs> this is called the Leaven Biting. I I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Chocobos are great! Chocobos are great! I like this one. I'm already gone. Guess I'll have to wait. <clears throat> yep. I have to go talk to him. Memphilia, or whatever her real name is. Quails. Quails? Quails of Bahamut. We're just... Mm. We're just... Shortening it to Quails. Oh, okay. Well... I think this is a little cutscene, and then we can do that. I... I am okay with streaming a little bit more today. Than usual, if you guys are okay. You still got like. I still got more? If I thought it was. Five started, cutscenes until you finish the patch. Oh my god. No, five, five quests until you finish the patch. Oh my god, what? Oh, the floor yeah. is yours. I'm also gonna only be here for hops another 45 minutes. Hmm. Then maybe we'll do the. We can as probably get, like, if you really want to, we can probably get started with the quests. Okay. Because there is cutscenes before you do the content. Okay. Like, the combat content, so. the Asian clad in white. I mean, I only care about T9 and T13. <laughs> yeah. Unwelcome though his presence was, his words that day did serve to confirm Then stop me. <laughs> Don't do it. Why? Considering it. Physical destruction is as a temporary inconvenience. What, buying a house? No. In real I already life, have a house. <laughs> uh, not in real life. In the uh, time, Arianger and I have striven to discover <sighs> means by which the Asians might more becoming a rune fencer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or something similar. That we have found a thread. Uh, stop me. I don't have enough time. <laughs> uh, context, that means I'm considering playing 11. Mm. I was also considering playing 11. Or going, or seeing if I can uh, play Dranquist 10. Yeah. The disruption to the flow of ether was sudden and dramatic. So tangible was the agitation, mm. I scarce had need of my goggles. I don't know why Rune Fencer of all the jobs like, stood out to me. In the but, of mine own, taken at the instant of the Lord you know, of Levin's demise. it happens, I guess. Unlike the primal, <laughs> Sometimes the you want what you want, you know? As long as it's Either that or Blue Mage, because, you uh, know. Just to let you know. Uh, because you set it to auto advance, you mm -hmm. can also set the delay between lines. As well. Oh god, how do I set the delay? It may benefit us tab all and to shift tab. What we know of etheric behavior. Tab and shift tab. You'll see VCR little blocks when you get it right. When you get the thing. 
No, that's not it. Which one's shift tab? Shift tab. plus tab. Okay, tab and it's shift tab. Ones. No, because it's just bringing me to big picture. Oh, uh, because you have Steam. That's yeah. Why. Oh, are you playing it via Steam? Yeah. Okay. That's why. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's Steam being dumb. Because it's taking over the keybind. Oh. So yeah, because I know some people don't like the, the really kind of like long delay. Yeah, I don't. I would rather have the conversation just fluid. So yeah, just if you, if you have your controller, just plug it in and just do left and right. Okay. It should just detect your controller now. Left and right. Left and right. Yeah. Whatever. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll yeah. figure it out. <laughs> Let us begin at what some might call the end. When we who dwell in the material realm die, our spirits dissolve into the flow of ether and are returned to the ethereal realm. Oh boy, we're in turn. Having a class which suffuses that flame streams yep. back into our world, giving rise to new life. Tis as the heavens did decree the way of all mortal souls. Twixt this world and the next, do the ethereal current swirl, bearing the very essence of life. Thus doth the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. Continue unabated. Primals behave somewhat differently. In order to manifest and then maintain a physical presence in this realm, they must consume vast quantities of ether, most often in the form of crystals. Though they may seem to live, their flesh is but ether given shape. Interesting. I didn't expect that we would get a class. Thus, a defeated primal leaves behind no broken corpse. Rather, the essence of its form seeps back into the land whence it came, and the energy of its shattered spirit is called back to the ethereal realm. And there it waited yeah. till next the prayers of the faithful do draw it forth yeah. from the sea of ether to take their offering of crystals and make for itself a new body. That was me in this cutscene. Which brings us on to the third group, the so-called immortals. They exist in a manner all their own. Hmm. Quite. Even as the Sahagin Elder fell to the Admiral's musket shot, I witnessed the release of an ethereal cloud, which immediately took possession of a nearby minion. A and gave him the weird hat. <laughs> not upon the death of the flesh. The secret of life everlasting, and in the claws of a Sahagan, no less. But I wonder, what would happen to one of these obstinate spirits, should there be no suitable host for it to claim? If mortal death entails a return to the ethereal realm, it seems doubtful that the soul of an immortal would venture there. Nay, it merely withdraweth the distance. Unto the shore of the ethereal sea, perchance, but no further. Yes, it exists in neither this realm nor the next, abiding instead in the space that lies between them. The Asians took control of Thancred by means of a crystal of darkness, an artifact which, if our theories are correct, serves as a gateway to the place I have just described. I was hoping people had forgotten about that. <laughs> I am sorry, my friend. <laughs> For a mercy, the weary road of our research hath brought us unto an answer. The Sahagan ascended to an immortal state, but he did not possess a crystal of darkness through which to flee this realm. Thus was he consumed by Leviathan. Mm, okay. Leviathan ate him. If we trap the spirits of defeat 
treated Asians in like manner, and thereby deny them resurrection? Therein lieth the path to victory. Thou art most perceptive, my lady. Only when we have trapped the bodiless soul within an ethereal prison can we hope to defeat its unnatural constancy. Thus might even an eternal paragon be consigned to oblivion. These feats are, of course, far easier said than done. At present, we lack a viable means to entrap and extinguish an Asian soul. Yet, I believe it to be possible. The pieces of the puzzle lie before us. We have but to put them together. I will depart at once to convene with the sages of Shalian. Together shall we divine the steps by which our goals may be achieved. I have the utmost faith in you, Archon. I thought his name was Orianja. Beg pardon, Antecedent, but I would raise one final matter. Even now, a Charlian survey party seeketh to ascertain the fate of the students of Valdesian. Their findings shall soon be known to us. I hate you it here. Harbor feelings of dread. <laughs> I bid you. Yeah, I think, I think I haven't done. But abide instead in hopeful. You should need to do it. <laughs> I shall, Archon. Thank you. Are they Don't just even telling need to me that all. I am distracted uh. and I should be figuring out about the students of Maldesian? Oh no, that, that's not until Stormblood. Oh. <laughs> Lord of Levin is returned to Aether, as was Levi yeah, Leviathan before him. Ramos of Quiescence was most intriguing. Yeah, oh yeah, I think I've seen this scene. Inferno Vortex, Crag, Whirl, and Levin all now all have now been humbled by the bringer of light. Yep, I am stronger. The limitless potential of man, Hadel and Servant, grows mightier by the day. Yes. Yet she prospers at great cost to her mistress, whose strength is all too finite. Seven times have the masses survived the rejoining, but their souls are grown weak and wan. Yet, even as it enervates, the ardor empowers our uh, master. All that remains is the nurture of strength to, of the gifted. It's the final key. It's the final countdown, and that is the task to which we bend our effort, our every effort. Who are you? New person. Allah breath. Divine seats wherever want to quicken an Orsius word of soul. So we need only lead men to the field, and by their eager hands they shall reap whatever. Uh, that which was shattered shall be made anew, and the one true God will still stand there, whatever. It occurred to me, technically shouldn't one of those seats be empty? Uh, it was empty, and then the Habria appeared in it. Nah, I'm talking to Ben. Mm. Ooh, Guardian of Eorzea. It's hard to say, because even I don't you, remember. You know which one I'm talking about, right? The big E? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, then again, we are given raisins. So, eh. Could make sense. You know, he's worried and shit. Maybe they just didn't have that part of the story planned yet. <laughs> also very possible. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling some of the stuff they did later, they're just like, we'll pick up this part of the thread. 
it's a possibility. I know I know of um, games and like storytelling in general that it's like, oh, we left this loophole. We maybe tell a story with this loophole and figure out how to fill it in and stuff like that. Just sort of, I yeah. guess, what uh, Star Wars is doing. <laughs> Somehow Palpatine survived. The ways. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> Fucking the ways. Because we never do we do we see him dead in, in six? Bro, if you survived that that fall. <laughs> I have to watch six again. Oh my god, I have to watch them all. Who wants to watch them over the weekend? Uh I will watch four, five, six, and three. Who <laughs> puts me to sleep? <laughs> and one isn't meme wor worthy enough to subject myself to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. And uh, that's all of them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then we have to well. We have to watch four, five, six, Clone Wars, three, Rebels. Um, I don't know where Bad Batch falls into it, so I'm not sure. Uh, and then Rogue One, and then Mandalorian, and <laughs> but that's it. The TV shows, you know. <laughs> uh. It makes me so annoyed. Like I am so annoyed that the that the sequels are kind of bad, because freaking Oscar Isaac is great, just perfect. I love him, and Adam Driver is pretty good too. I'm not gonna lie. So the fact that it's just like yeah, they're they're kind of like very bad movies, really, because they have no continuity in them, just makes me angry. <laughs> I can't hear the name Adam Driver without thinking of a, a certain movie. Which one of them all? Uh, Black Klansman. Oh, I haven't seen it. I've heard it. <laughs> I've heard it. I've heard it. Should. Uh, ooh, where where the fuck is Yozan? Okay. This is the new person. I have to talk to a new person. I always need a threat tickets. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm back from our adventures, and yeah, I was fighting primals. Uh, we want we all want to be here so we formed our very own Doman Adventurers Guild. Oh heck yeah. Oh my god, train them. Jesus Christ. Boulder and Kultanet. Oh my god. Who the fuck are you? I recently became full members of the science, I believe the proper Oh okay. Science, I guess? Hori, Hori Boulder is cool to know, though. The we... best boy. <laughs> We're not younglings anymore. We're adventure. Oh my god, you're younglings. We're just as great as you. She could give us some special training. Uh, nope. I am too busy. The fiends of Mordo are still ever so slightly too dangerous. Yeah. I have a counter proposal. What if I were to cross swords with Fury? Oh no. They want to fight? <laughs> I do say that you were merely seeking to test yourself. Yep. May yeah, have, but what matters is the motive when the children stand to learn so much from the lesson? I guess so. I guess I'll just kill you. I 
love the cute, the cute smile. It's just like, yeah, kill you. <laughs> Do not try and disappoint them. I shall summon every last ounce of my strength to make this a worthy contest. Oh boy. The fields east of town should prove suitable. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> they really they they really want me to kill one of our own. Wonder if actually the battle's gonna be difficult. I'm excited. Uh, I went the wrong way. I think I went the wrong way. No, I was. I went the wrong way. Why the fuck did? It, why? Why did I get so confused? Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. <gasps> it's Christmas! Yeah! That chocobo is super cool. It's Santa Claus. Okay, where do I go? I go there. Okay. Quarry Boulder, here I am! Oh, uh, I guess I cannot do it because I'm in- I'm in a party. Uh, this band. Bye bye party. Okay, let's see. <laughs> let's see how difficult this fight is. Let us not keep the younglings waiting any longer. Are you certain you was too far here alone? That is fear you face. Yep. Oh, he has earrings. Nice. Don't wait to test my metal. Pray allow me to attempt the first round donated. After all, it was the hero's legend that led me to join the science to begin with. Without fairy to inspire my efforts, I would not be half the warrior I am today. Okay. You haven't begun ha yet, have you? Oh no, who's who's here to see me battle? Oh. Oh boy. Who are all those people? <laughs> when I heard about your sparing much, I told everyone I could find. Thought you could use some crowd to cheer on you on. Oh no! Uh, I'm experiencing the reaction was... <laughs> Seems but a sickly shade in comparison. You'd best claim victory, bringer of light. Oh no. It's a master swordsman. Okay. Oh boy, this is gonna be this, this is gonna be tough, I see. I have a crowd. I have crowds to please. Oh my god. This this music. Uh, did I just kill him? Hello? Th this this music has no right to go to go so well. Oh.
They're all dead. They're all dead. That was actually kind of fun. <laughs> None can defeat me. I am the best of them all. impressive as always. It's a pleasure to witness the spectacle of your martial prowess. And judging by the smiles and those uh, and these many faces, too, they too appreciate your hard-won strength. Interesting. Guardian of yours, yeah. Yes, that is the most fitting title. Oh no! Don't give me that title! Was it the memorial service for the Battle of Cartano? Yeah. At the time I was getting and uh, attempting to understand this land of Eorzea, yeah, I sought to grasp the reason why my grand why grandfather was willing to sacrifice himself to protect it. Interesting. I shall speak plainly. My initial impressions were less than favorable. Their problems abounded, and yet the effort I saw expanded towards their solution was haphazard and half hearted. I thought Eorzean foolish and childish people. Interesting. Their shambles their home was in I would not have been surprised if some had chosen to swear allegiance to Gaius and the order he proposed to enforce the, leg the Legatus single-minded and uh -huh. Or not for it to start to continue your grandfather's legacy, I would have abandoned the realm to its fate long ago. The threats were too many, the nation's too self-involved and unstable. Yeah, that's true. It's all politics, baby. Plus you can <laughs> oh, it was me? I convinced you. You taught me through countless acts of bravery that what my grandsire sought to preserve was not the land or its history, not a single nation, but the people. Wait, I said it! <laughs> it was wonderful, often for rainy stubborn people that suffer a uh, blow after their terrible blow, only to drag themselves to their feet. Yeah, though he never put such feelings into words, I believe grandfather's admiration for this ex inextinguishable courage. Yeah, whatever. You talk too much. Alfinad, you talk too much. Our cause, however, is not a simple one. The troubles that plague us are of a scale that cannot be solved by the science of the seventh dawn. I guess so. No, what is needed to tackle the root of the primal threat and effectively counter the schemes of ASEANs is a new expanded organization that operates beyond the limit limitations of nations and borders. It would if you would aid me into building an organization. Yeah, I'll probably do it, I guess. If I have time. So I'm I'm guessing Hori Boulder and Kultnet are very cool characters. They're cool like seaside characters. Hmm. Better, they're cooler than Biggs and Wedge. That's the question, isn't it? Hi, Elfinati. Uh, what do I want? Materia. Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, 
I would figure the grand plan. Uh huh. Uh -huh. A realm wide grand company, if you will. That would be nice. Yeah, well, the purpose of this hypothetical organization is undisputed. The logistics of its formation have become a source of endless debate. Yeah, I bet. The longer the discussions continue, the more I sense the impetus towards unification draining away. Yep. It will be on a much smaller scale than what we hope to eventually achieve, but capable of the same manner of unrestricted operations. Uh, okay. Also, being primarily military outfit, I mean to as assuage, assuage? I don't know. Uh, me too. Uh, okay. The science worked tirelessly to protect and its powers and its people, but as you yourself have witnessed the refugee revolt, there are limitations to what even we can achieve. With this new company under the science command, however, we will be capable of responding to a wider range of difficulties. Yay! The goals of my proposed organization and those of the science are ultimately identical, a point conceded by all concerned. But before we can move forward to the est to establishing the precursor of the true border spanning grand company, it is not. Okay, so let's go talk to the leaders, I guess. Cool work call. So I guess I have to talk to the leaders now? <laughs> Make a, yep. a, a continent-wide grand company. Where even is Bulark? Oh my god. That is so expensive! And I will enjoy it! <laughs> okay. I just didn't think the politics would be in my game! Who would have guessed it, right? Oh, you too might know. Uh, earlier, uh, Ed and I were talking about Pokemon. Because we do that sometimes. Um, is Necrozma supposed to be an Ultra Beast? Or... Or, uh, it or a regular is Pokemon. An ultra, it is an ultra based. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's Alfie Nod. Didn't see you. We're just talking about like God Pokemon and stuff, and it was just like, where, where do, where did this? Ultra, ultra beast, okay? Because <laughs> we were like, uh, what is the difference between the guardians and the gods and stuff like that, you know? Oh my god. I have to go everywhere by myself and I cannot have a mount with me. Okay. I can do this. I can use the teleporties. Okay, the first teleporty that we're gonna go is to here. Um, we go to the aft, the aft castle, I guess. Teleporties to the aft castle. There we go. It was just so confusing, cause like, we have obviously Arceus, who is the god of the gods of the gods of the gods, and. Apparently, Giratina and Palkia and um, Dialga are also gods. Uh, but what? But but then we went into like Lugia and Ho and what they were, and considering Rayquaza and and all of them. That's just it, it was a little bit of a confusion site. <laughs> Who? Which are gods and what are legendaries? You know. I have a sprint that I can only sort of use. Oh, it's... No. It's 
here. So no one wants to help. Uh, here, I guess. The culinary skilled, okay. Uh, sorry, I was in a duty. It's okay. Okay, the, th the question is, where am I? Okay. Keep getting lost in this map. Um a marauder skilled, I guess, is next. Yeah, marauders is equally as close. Oh, you know, there's one here. Hey, do you want to be a part of this thing that I am recruiting for? I guess I can just walk. I can run. Use my run button for 10 seconds. 20 seconds when not in combat. Okay. I must say, I, even though I sort of understand why they make you do this, it's boring. <laughs> Go back to the air. Oh my god. Where? Where's the airship? Where's the airship strip so that I can go to the landing? It is a lot of content that was strung along for months being condensed into hours now. I guess so. I guess so, but still. It's the whole go talk to this person and then go talk to this person and then talk back to me and type thing that I just... Might be a little too much, you know? Yeah.
this, the Marauders. Uh. Upper deck. It also feels it's a little bit of a slog while streaming, and I don't know if... I don't know how people feel about that. <laughs> uh, nothing. That's not, that's not what I want, then. How do I go to the airship? Uh, just talk to an right? Okay. Then you can take the option to go to the airship landing. I'll believe you. Uh, oh, yeah. It's just, it didn't have it either, right? So I was like, what, what, how? How do I get there? Hi, Alphanaut, I'm back. Uh, speak, uh huh. Nafigas. <laughs> Why didn't we just meet at Nafigas? <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> this game! This game, I swear! <laughs> Hunters killed. Okay. No. <gasps> I've been promised that the story gets good, so I'm gonna keep playing it. <laughs> Yoshi P, don't make me regret this. They should let me jump more, thank you. Hey, do you want to join the grandest of grand companies? Yeah, I remember now. Yeah. Sure. If I have any achievements, hi, Jennifer. Mm, how many do we have? Ooh, we have four. What? Uh, what can I buy with four? This is just music. Uh, a suit of chocobo armor designed to resemble that worn by a long forgotten hero of legend? Ooh. I actually don't know which one to get. <laughs> it's 
so I'm not gonna get anything right now. Hey, do you wanna become part of the grandest grand company of grand companies? Hey, Grisindel, do you want to become part of the grandest of grand companies? <sighs> I'm, I have sign-ups for the grandest of grand companies! Anyone who wants to protect the realm can join! <laughs> And when oh, I mean it, when I say everyone, I mean everyone. Okay, airship landing. I have an ether here. I planned this perfectly. Still depressed AF? No, no depression. But I guess I guess it makes sense. And I guess we go to Uldana, which is good. <sighs> I this is gonna be hell. <laughs> Uldana is gonna be hell. Oh no. Okay. In the Chamber of Rule. Okay, how many people do I have to talk to? Five people? Okay, where do we start? Gladiators Guild, okay. Let's start by the Gladiators Guild. I wonder if I can jump down from here. I did. Interesting. Okay. Uh, keep going this way to the Gladiators Guild. Hello, Wilred. Do you want to join the grandest of grand company? Okay, and the next one is near the Miner's Guild. Let's teleport to the Miner's Guild. Where, where's the... the oh, there we are. I will say this music's very nice. <laughs> I should probably head off. Okay. <laughs> We're just doing recruiting people to the grandest of grand companies anyway. Yeah. Have a good day. The warrior of fetch quests. Yep, pretty much. Have <laughs> uh, fun. Ooh, where, where is that? 
Just keeping all their dialogue, yeah. <laughs> it's yep. too much. For them just to say, yes, I'll join or whatever. Like, they probably have, like, deep conversations or something. But, like... Yeah. Okay, we're here. This way. Hey, you're a trader. Do you want to join the guild? The grandest of grand companies? Oh, at the you want me back at the Royal Promenade? Interesting. I thought the airship w would be the place. The Royal Promenade. Uh, Chamber of Brawl. Run to Alfinod! Run! Okay, so Alfinod, what has been said? Oh, we actually get cutscene. Uh, what hit it? Uh huh. Some people, some here and there. Uh, document sign and the finance is secure. There is not to prevent me from taking the next step. You can do it. Uh, yeah. Uh, this was the origin of every coin at the country. It's very nice and recorded. The organization will not be built in corruption. Heck yeah. I would prefer not to rely upon outside sources at all, but even my family's essential coffers could not sustain a venture of this magnitude. Rich boy. And as far as rumors and doubt surrounding this enterprise, well, such things shall plague us until the company has a chance to prove itself, whatever the fuck. And now where do we go? How do we end this fetch quest? Oh, cutscene. The airships are kind of weird looking. Just saying. Oh, hi, Nanamo. Tell me, General. What think you of Alfino's bold endeavor? I think it is more than bold, Your Grace. His organization would pave the way for a united Eorzea. Well do I understand his impatience, since facing the common threat of the Ultima weapon, our nations have seemed farther apart, not closer together. Considering the many problems we face, should we not be glad that someone else is taking the initiative? Raban is so smart. <laughs> we have all pledged our cooperation. Yet the grumbling continues behind closed doors. Ulda is not alone in her duplicity. I myself have doubts as to the good this organization will achieve. With the inclusion of the finest soldiers of the three grand companies, it promises to be a fearsome military body. But whom will it serve? Even under the watchful gaze of the Scions, it is not unthinkable that such a force could perpetrate a great wrong. That is true. Does it not concern you that a significant proportion of its financial backing came from the coffers of the Syndicate? That those unprincipled worms might forge this extraordinary gathering of warriors into a private army? I have trust in the Scions, Your Grace. They have spared us no end of trouble at the hands of the Primals. If they seek reinforcements, I deem it unwise to deny them. Hmm. As for their finances, full many gave generously. And though our nobles proffered a sizable sum, their coin did not spill from the pockets of Lolorito and his cronies. And what of the presence of our stalwart adventurer friend in this endeavor? 
I doubt the warrior of light would Ooh, betray can we cult. become the betrayer? Can we betray everyone? Bagstab. Yes, there is that, I suppose. Yet I have known people to change. Whether we will or no, the events of the age hurl us this way and that, like a dust devil skipping across the sands. Cannot be done about Telechi. I have explored all avenues available to us, Your Grace. But as Uldan Law now stands, we lack the evidence to convict him of any crime. To arrest him on spurious grounds would only play into his hands. He has all but committed treason, and yet we can do nothing? I like her. <laughs> She's so cute! What good are governments? What worth the royal house? How deplorable this mockery of justice! Oh no! No, don't make me cry two streams in a row! over why why are why are these games mean to me <laughs> I got no comments <laughs> fair enough I guess That is not a journey I didn't wish to repeat. Yeah, I guess so. I am so close to a level up. Jesus Christ. But I think I'm actually gonna be done for today. Because I feel a headache coming and I've had headaches all of this week and I hate it. Ugh, yeah, my don't worry. I was burning. testing a headache before, before stream, so... Yeah. yeah. I I could power through, but what's the point if we're already no. closing to Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um we're going to raid with let's betray everyone because now I want to betray everyone. Who are we going to raid is the question. Who are we going to raid? Who is streaming? That could be fun to raid. <laughs> We're gonna raid Xeno Pernumbra, who's playing Resident Evil 4. Remaster, I think. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more 14, in which we do more stuff, I guess. Because we didn't finish uh, 2.3, right? No, you got like two or three more quests. <laughs> like two, oh my god. I, I was paying too much attention this time. Instead of sp speeding through them. Oh no. Bye everyone. Bye everyone. And...